Okay. Hi. Well, I made it to uh, Ireland just off the coast of Java. We're actually only three hours from Jakarta, which is uh, amazing. And uh, we found this deserted island. It's an, uh, in a string of islands called the Thousand Island Chain. And what I'm going to do for the next couple of days is show you how you can basically set up a camp here and live out of your traveller's sack, what you're going to have in there to make it all happen. So I hope you enjoy the next couple of days. Alright, so the first thing I've got to do is find somewhere to uh, camp up for the night. And I'm going to use a hammock, which is the first thing I'm going to show you, because that is just a great thing to have in your bag. And it's going to be the most comfortable thing. I'm going to find somewhere to put up. I've found this spot, which um, I think is pretty good. The problem is there's not enough, not enough places around to really be able to put a shelter up over the hammock. But um, I'm going to have a look around the island, leave my bag here, and just see if there's anywhere better. places I can put my paracord out. These trees are about the right distance apart, so that's good, but there's a hell of a lot of drift rubbish around here and it just, the breeze is too strong, it doesn't really feel right. So, yeah, have a look at this. We've got a load of driftwood here, so probably the best thing I can do, the best thing I can do is um, take some of these long pieces of wood and I'll just make my own stands to tie off on because that was a much nicer spot over there. Got some wood. A bit of bamboo, I can just sort of drive those in. Yeah, yeah, I've got plenty here. I'm going to use this, I'm going to go back to the other spot. It just felt really nice and uh, start putting the hammock up. Okay, first thing, hammock. Get that out. This is a cloth hammock, which is brilliant. Really small and light. Packs down small. And uh, it's got lots of different uses, so obviously you sleep in it, but you could quite easily just lay this on the beach and lay down on it. Cover a dirty bed with it. It's just a nice big piece of cloth with a string running through the end. So I'm going to stick this up over the tree. And it's from here to there. tied off loosely to begin with. Too much so I don't know how much flux I'm going to need. I always put it about hip height. And then the real trick is to have it slightly at an angle so your head's at the bottom because your head's really heavy. And if you have it dead level you find that your head pushes you down in the night and you end up crunched at the end. So I reckon I want to sleep with my head up there so this is going to be slightly higher at this end. Make it a bit tighter now, so I think we're about right. Just tighten this off, put the strings over each other. We'll finish those off in a minute. And a really critical thing before you get into it, have a good old tug down, make sure you're not going to fall out. There we go, so that's just getting good sit in it, never get straight in, make sure it's going to take your weight and then it's the final test, off with the dirty sandals, ah, ah, there we go, the great thing about this is it's made of two, right, I've got it all up and I'm going to just take you around and show you what I've done. So you've got to remember all of this besides the sticks have come out of my bag. So these are the sticks to guy out from. Now I'm holding up my poncho. 
which is probably one of the most essential bits of kit I've got here. And with the extension, it's gone right over everything else. The only thing with the poncho, you've got to remember, is it's got a hood in the middle. And if you're not careful, if it rains, that will sort of fill up, push down, and you get soaked. So I just tie it off to the side so it keeps running off. So that's the poncho. Underneath that, mosquito net to come in close on this one. And um, it's always a bit of an argument about whether I go for our white combo net or green jungle net when I'm travelling around. The white one's better inside, it's more versatile. The green one is a finer mesh. Have a look at the mesh on that, if you can come in a bit on that. Very fine mesh. So that's going to stop even sand flies coming through. And it's shorter than the white combo net, so it doesn't fall completely on the floor. It holds off a bit, which is great. And that's attached by thin cords to the poncho on four corners. And I'll just tuck that in around me once I get, in the, get inside. So that's those two. Now then to sleep in, I have to come in a bit closer here, Hindra. I've got my tropical quilt, which I've talked about before. Lovely bit of kit. Um, even if this gets a little bit damp, we're on an island and there's a lot of uh, just dampness in the atmosphere. That will still keep me warm, even if it gets a bit damp, which is very good, very good indeed. And uh, the other thing I always bring is, is half a pillow. Might seem a bit silly, but you can get a, you know, your insulated jacket, stuff it in there. And you've actually got a pretty comfortable pillow, and people really don't think about pillows enough, you know. It's a strange old thing, but they always think, oh, do I really need a pillow? Even though you use one every day at home, you think when you go away, you won't need one, you know, if you're out in somewhere like this. But your neck, you really get it in the neck, you know, if you're not careful. And then we come just to the last thing, is the sort of cord you use. So I, I bring a variety, and um, to hold out the main poncho, I've got some pretty thick cord, you have to come in a bit on this. This is the sort of standard paracord that he, that's used, and you find this in most outdoor shots, especially Nomad. But I've, I've still maintained a few bit of the original paracord. I tend to go for white as much as possible, because in the night and you've got all these guy ropes out, what you find is you just walk into them if they're black or green, but white still stands out. And this original stuff, it's got threads inside which is very useful for repairing. You've got little threads, quite good for sort of pulling your rucksack back together if it falls apart. And you've got fine sewing thread as well. So you've got a little bit of everything. So that's the that's main one, about, about five, 10 meters of that's great. And then I go for a much thinner cord. And the reason for having a thinner cord is, of course, is you can just carry a hell of a lot more of it. And you'd be amazed just to hold out this whole system I've probably got about 20 metres of cord. So if you start using really thick cord for everything, your bag's full of cord. So, uh, you know, a mixture of, of sizes of cord. And lastly, if you come with me, so we've got it all set up. Just found a nice sort of breezy spot. And I always carry just about, just carry five metres of this, not too much. This is a really thick cord. And I've used it as a, a washing line just to hang my clothes on and, you know, get, a, get, them, get the sea air through them. Uh, but then, you know, sometimes you, you can't find two trees the right distance apart for the hammock, uh, which has obviously got to take a lot of weight. Well, not with me, but with some people. Um, and this is useful for extending the hammock cord, so it's good and strong. So, a good... so that's the heavy cord. If you come back over here, I'll just show you the last thing that's um, just a little trick, really. Watch your feet there. Yes. So all of these bits and pieces are all in little bags just to keep everything organised in my backpack. And uh, they, they're great. You just hang those over the end. Obviously, um, stick your boots up over the end so you don't get ants and things crawling into them. So they're safe there. But all these little bags are great because my head's up here. And I've got loads of little utility bags that can stick a book in, my torch in and uh, not have to fumble about for them. So uh, even the bags become really useful. And that's the setup. Thank you. Good morning. Well, about four o'clock this morning, we had a big thunderstorm. 
and uh, I stayed reasonably wet, dry, if not a little bit damp. Problem was, being on a little island, the winds are whipping in and uh, pushing all the, the bit of spray underneath, but basically I'm okay. I've already taken down my mosquito net. Um, this has worked well. This poncho's got an extension on it, so it covers the hammock well. And um, it's been pretty good, pretty good. Got a brew going, so uh, I'm not unhappy. And uh, see what the rest of the day brings. Hopefully this will pass over. It's sort of just drizzling now, nothing too bad. And that's about it for now. Uh, here's the scene out of our back door. It doesn't get much better than this. Beautiful. Get down. 